How's it going, everybody? Welcome to The Culture Show. I'm here with Coach John Davis. I'm Isaiah Hernandez. Let's get started. So as the season starts, what are some last tips or advice you give to your players to get the season going? Well, a lot of times it's just a matter of, you know, improving on your mental game and making sure that we're improving on the physical aspect of our game. Uh, we're really hitting hard right now in practice, the last half of practice, making sure that we're aware of where we're at from a mental standpoint and from a physical standpoint, we're really trying to improve upon that, you know, for when we get into the season. Because once you hit January and February, it's a lot of basketball, it wears on you. And, you know, basketball is just as much of a mental standpoint than it is just physical. So we're really working on that. The uh, girls are doing a really good job in the weight room. We're lifting right now three times a week. And, you know, so the physical side, I feel like it's going to be there. And that's just a matter of us of, you know, improving from the mental side. Okay. So as we talk about key players, we think of Brianna Richardson. What did she do last year? And what does she bring to your team that is so special? Bree brings a little bit of everything. She, from a points per game standpoint, she was our, uh, one of our leading scorers with Tatiana Manuel last year. Uh, she's, she's a good offensive player, good defensive player, uh, passes the ball well. Uh, she was second on the team in steals last year, first in assists. So she's just well-rounded in terms of what she offers us. And uh, uh, we have Anissa Williams that's returning also. She's logged probably the most minutes over the last uh, two years of any player. Uh, Tatiana Mahone. Uh, we really have a good nucleus of players that we're going to work around right now. Uh, Noelle Van Zadelhoff is back. She had a a concussion last year that put her out for the entire year. Um, so she averaged a double-double the second half of the year two years ago. So she's proven herself at this level. And uh, it's going to be really important to, to have her on the floor for us. Um, so we're excited about the, the core group of, of what we have to work with. And obviously there's a lot more on our team in terms of people that are going to impact us in a positive way. And as a team, I'm sure y'all have goals. So where are those goals that y'all are setting to reach for this to be a successful season? Well, first goal that I look at for a team is off the floor. Absolutely. And it's a matter of our girls really having a servant leadership mindset and growing into that and talking about it, but also being able to put a plan into place that we can act on what it means to be a Christ serving leader. And by doing that, the team will come together. And that, that's the process of, I think any coach in this nation is to to bring a group together, to play for each other. Uh, we talk often, our team motto is team above self, Christ above all. And you're the third person in that, that tier. You're, you're the last one, your teammates are above you. And we wanna focus our relationship on Christ. So, you know, in terms of season goals, that's where it starts. Uh, in terms of what we wanna do on the basketball court, we wanna be able to compete for a Conference Carolinas championship and to do that, we have to make the Conference Carolinas tournament. So that's where we want to go in terms of this year. Uh, we took a step forward last year in terms of our competition. Uh, we, we were better against teams and lost 10 games by 10 points or less. Um, so hopefully we're going to improve upon that. And by winning a, a few more of those games, it will be able to put us in line to, to be a part of the Conference Carolinas tournament. That's awesome. And as a coach, around this time, I understand a lot of coaches get excited, antsy, ready to get the season rolling. What are some things that excite you as the season is approaching? Just the new group. I think that's, that's the main thing. You have a new group and, you know, we can't play anymore uh, as coaches. Uh, so we live a little bit through our, our players and watching them play and seeing them succeed in life and seeing them succeed on the court. It's just the newness of a season. Uh, what, you know, being with, with the team is fun for me and being with uh, our coaches and, and our coaches' meetings and talking things over, just being involved in, the, in what we have here at Southern Westland is a blessing. To be able to use basketball as a ministry is, is, is vital to us, and, and that, that's the fun part of it. And no matter what our season brings, uh, whether it's wins, whether it's losses, um, you know, we're gonna find the joy in whatever we go through as a group, and, and that brings uh, coaching full circle for me. Absolutely. Well, we're going to wish you a good luck on the season, Coach. We thank hope you. it's a successful one for you. And thank y'all, and be sure to tune in next time on the Coach Show.